Hey, hey everybody, it's me, Casey, and it's 7.30 in the morning, we're here for some more Animal Crossing. Last time we left off, we made a terrible mistake and accidentally became George Washington. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can get our hair cut this early in the morning, I don't know if we can, but uh, let's jump in here. We should have our house too now. Raggle, it's Saturday, July 9th, and the time is 7.28 in the morning. So we get started? Yeah, let's go. Wonderful. Yeah, so I'm hoping we can get our hair cut back to something a little bit normal. Okay, I'll sit. Have a nice day. And I'm going to try and... Uh, I think I don't think the white haircut was working out for us. We don't have a house yet? And I've also covered up our shameful, shameful head of hair with a awkwardly striped pattern hat, but whatever. We got a letter? Who sent us a letter? Uh... How do we check? There we go. There's our mail. It's like, how do we check our mail? Who sent us a letter? Nintendo staff. Welcome to Animal Crossing. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy life as one of the residents of Regal. Well, I'll do that then. Thanks, man. Um. Nice morning. Nice and sunny. Cool breeze by the ocean. This house was a good choice. Can't catch the cicada though, but that's all right. We'll just let him do his thing. We're not gonna run past him and disturb him. I saw a weed back here. There it is. Well, let's go see if we can't get our haircut fixed real quick. And we're just gonna pick up all these dead flowers and weeds and stuff along the way. Like that. Do these count as weeds? Oh, they do. There's more than I thought. Not just the ones that stick out of the ground. It's also the little like lily pads growing everywhere, these little bastards. There's so many of them. It's calling out to me. They're calling my name. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it all by myself. I'll have to call one of you guys off of YouTube to come in here. Help us clean up everything. I need someone to do the uh, landscaping that the animals refuse to do. All right, haircut. Haircut, please be open. Please. Please, I'm counting on you. I can't go out looking like this again. I don't think they're open, are they? When do you guys open? 10 o'clock? What are these? What do you guys think they're doing? 10 o'clock? Everyone knows that in order to be respectable with a new haircut, you have to get it before 8. And we only have half an hour left, and you're clearly not going to open up. Luke's home's not open? 10 o'clock? Oh no, don't tell me. When does the actual shop open? 10 o'clock! Oh no. What about the shoe store? Everyone doesn't open until 10? Well, I'm gonna have to get the mayor to change the ordinance around here so we can open up the shops early or something. This is... This is unacceptable. I'm gonna go on a strike. I'm not gonna work. You can't... You can't make me work. Well... I don't have a job anyway, so I guess I'm not working to begin with. In, in the game, that is. I've got a job in real life, but in the game, we don't have a job. Oh, there's a new... Today we have an extremely... That's today. Today we have an extremely rare zero lamp for sale. So rare it's magic. Don't miss out. Wait. So they were able to write this notice on the board before 10 o'clock, but then they don't open up till 10? Are they just trying to build up hype for the lamp and then they're going to sell it off? And that's not even right. That's not fair. I don't think we can even sell anything right now, either. I don't think our retail store is open. I don't think... Nothing. All we can do, we can clean up the town and we can go around and talk to animals. Retail is not open. They're, they're not going to be open. When are they open? When are you guys open? 9 a.m. Well, they open like one hour better. But... Still... Pick up some fruit. These look nice. Peaches? Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Millions of peaches. Peaches for free. Ooh, oranges too. These would be nice. I guess I planted all these when I originally played. And lemons? We're gonna be rich off of the hard work of me. 
Get out of the ground. Get out of the ground. Oh, no, none of you. Don't stay in the ground. Out of there. My ground. I'm gonna walk all over you and I'm gonna rip you out. This is actually... My backyard was kind of like this. Uh, and it's still kind of... There's all these weeds everywhere and they're so annoying because it's like... They just, they just keep growing. And they grow, and they grow, and they grow, and then you rip them out, and then more of them grow, and then they show up, and then pretty soon your whole yard is just weeds, and you're like, well, what happened to all my grass? All the grass is dead, and I got all these stupid weeds. And in a way, it's kind of nice, because you just... You just rip them all out. You just tear them out of the ground. Actually, there was one point, we, it got really bad, I let them go. Um, I was just like... It felt like after a period of a week, I just ignored all these weeds that were growing in the backyard, and there were a bunch of weeds that just... They grew really tall and really wide and uh, I had to go back there and rip them all out and first I got um, a weed whacker and that sort of worked but at the point by the point that I got the weed whacker all the weeds had already grown way too big uh, and so the weed whacker didn't work on them because they just like it was just breaking the uh, the twine or whatever you call it on the weed whacker so went back to uh, the store and went and grabbed a uh, uh, like a, a shear type of thing, like a long handle to cut stuff easily. But then I was like, man, I can spend all this time cutting it, but then there's still going to be the base of the thing. Like I just have to pull them out. So I just started ripping everything out by hand. And these things were tall, like these. So I'm I'm like six foot four, and uh, these weeds were probably I don't know. They're probably like two three feet tall. They're pr they're pretty tall. And uh, I'm ripping them all out, and most of them aren't too bad. There's a couple of tough ones, but oh, that's a cool looking beetle. I'm ripping them up, but then finally there's like this really big one, and I'm pulling on it and pulling on it and pulling on it. It's nothing, nothing to work in. So finally, I like, I go into full, hey, what is this guy doing out here? Didn't you be at home? Why are you, s you, you just sleeping out here in the field? I just let him be. Anyway, so I'm pulling and eventually it's not working. And so I finally, I go full beast mode on this, on this weed. Like, grab it both hands. I get my feet, like, firmly planted in the ground, like, with a wide stance. To get that extra, like, extra oomph for when you're pulling. Like, full everything into it. Legs, back, everything. And it's, like, just not, not really budging, but, like, kind of budging. A giraffe ruler washed up onto the beach. And it's, like, sort of kind of budging, but not budging. And finally, I could feel it give, so I'm like still like just tugging on with all my power, not giving up. Well, finally, it pulls out of the ground, but of course, I'm pulling on it with like my entire the force of my legs and my upper body and my weight and everything I got. And I fall, just like go flying over backwards, fall down. That was embarrassing. I mean, I did it, but at what cost? It was worth it. No one saw me. No one saw me. But I'm telling you guys the story so you can. You can imagine it, but it was, it was great. And that's how I learned uh, not to underestimate weeds. And when, whenever I see one of these little bastards growing up in my backyard, I just rip them out. No matter how small, I take delight in it. I just, um, just grab it, rip it right out. Throw it on the patio, I let it dry up till it's dead. And then I kick it out with the rest of the dead stuff. It's kind of cruel, actually, but... Those weeds tried to murder my backyard. They kind of did in a way, but not really, but sort of. They tried. So... Oh, hey! Let's talk. Oh, wow. Are you the new resident everyone's been talking about? Welcome to Ragal. My name is Skye. She's cute. No worry, though. I'm really excited to have a new neighbor. This our town is pretty small. Everyone here influences how it grows and changes. It should be fun getting to know each other and working together to improve Ragal. oni Cham. Wow. The previous person who talked to her must have been some kind of weirdo making her say Onicham. What a weirdo. Oh, hey, look, some more weeds. We can't... We're kind of at a... We're kind of at an impasse here because it's early in the morning. We can't really go buy anything. Oh, that's right. There's a bench. There's a bench here. We can't buy anything. Uh, we can't sell anything. All we can do is really rip out these weeds. We don't have any tools like a shovel or a um, net or a fishing rod or any of that sort of stuff. But um, 
we will just have like a little short episode here and then we'll come back later on tonight when all the stores are open. Get our hair cut. That's a nice bench. I like that bench. Get our hair cut. See if we get some tools. I mean, we could just drop the tools on the ground from the first player character, but it kind of feels like cheating in a way. This is our this is our new story. This is our new adventure. And we have to... I think we need to play by the rules a little bit. We already have all the stuff that's been built up around the town, which is helping us out, like all these bridges, all the different shops, everything like that's already built up, so... Normally you don't have everything. Oh, there's mushrooms. They don't call me... KC, Mushroom Hunter, KC for nothing. All this fruit. See, we're, we're basically getting handed money, too, with all the fruit that's over here, which is great. Oh, I'm pretty tired. <sighs> hmm. How's our inventory looking? Pretty full. We can take uh, this money and put it in our pocket. Other than that, we got all this fruit that's clogging up the space. We have that book that we found on our first day in town. We need to give that back to uh, the owner at some point, but not really too, too many animals are awake at this time. This person's awake. Who's this? Dora? She's a mouse, actually. She's a mouse. That's the mouse that we first saw. I think she's the gray mouse. I think. Yeah, there she is. Oh, she's white. White and blue. Oh, wow. Are you the new resident everyone's been talking about? Welcome to Raigol. My name is Dora. I'm really excited to have a new neighbor. Because our town is pretty small. Everyone here... Hey, wait a minute. This is a broken record. Everyone here influences how it grows and changes. It should be fun getting to know each other and working together to improve Raigol. Squeaky. Hey, is this your book? Hi, Magna. What's going on, Squeaky? I'm bored. I'm sure there are plenty of things you don't know about living here, but don't let that stop you. Everyone here loves to socialize, and we're always happy to share what we know. Also, if you ever find yourself confused about something, you can talk to Isabel at the town hall. We'll give you lots of helpful advice on living in town. Hmm. Well. Okay. I guess it's not her book. I don't know what we're doing with this book. I thought you have to talk to the animals and ask them, like, hey, is this your book? But that may not be the case. Oh, there's so many bugs everywhere. There's just there's bugs like on all the different trees, and there's all different kinds of bugs. I feel like I've seen a ton of different ones that uh, I've never seen before. But it's probably it's probably more that I've forgotten them rather than haven't seen them before. It's a great day to walk around Raigol and take in the scenery on each uh, Call me Onei-chan this time. Want to chat? I heard you bought a house. Having a place of your own is wonderful. It also means you might be needing a few things. For household goods, visit TIY. For clothes, check out Able Sisters. Both shops are on Main Street, and they both change their stock every single day. So even just window shopping is really fun, Onichem. Okay. But I was really hoping for a housewarming gift from Sky. Like, I really wanted free stuff. Oh, I have mail. Can I get my mail? No, I can't steal my own mail. Well... It's only been about 15 minutes, but I think we're just going to go back to bed. I think we'll just go back to sleep. Nice and early. No one's really up to... Oh, we don't even have a bed. Isabel, what are you doing? Barging into our tent here. Wow, so exciting. It's just like you're camping, isn't it? Reminds me a lot of my childhood. Everyone would get all worked up and we'd roast marshmallows and make popcorn over the fire. We'd always burn the popcorn a bit, but you know something? That just made it extra delicious. It's like pepperoni. I guess pepperoni marshmallows do have a lot in common. I mean popcorn. Popcorn and pepperoni. They both start with the P. Oh no. I've gotten all carried away again. I'm so sorry. Anyway, Magna, I brought you something nice. For me? It's a lantern. That's not a bed. I thought I'd seen one somewhere, so I searched through the storage closet at the town hall. I'm sure enough, it was in there. Ooh, I thought it'd be perfect for you since you're sleeping in a tent. If you tap the thing on the lower screen and press X, you can see what's in your pockets. Put the lantern and choose to display it in the room. Can you please get it out for me? Oh, I just met you, Isabel. I'm not getting anything out. Yikes. Maybe this is why your house hasn't built yet. We didn't do this tutorial. 
There you go. I put the lantern down. Just like that. Next. Face the lantern and press A to turn the light on. Why don't you give it a try? Oh, super. Since it's so old, I wasn't sure if it'd work properly, but it looks like it works just fine. What else? Well, if you face the lantern and hold down A while using the circle pad, it will move backward or forward or rotate in any direction you like. Put it wherever you want. If you want to turn the light off, press A again or simply push Y to put it into your pocket. That's all for me this time. Sorry to barge in on you like this. I'll be taking my leave now. Bye, Isabel. Nice to know that you're kind of nosy and you don't even knock before entering people's homes. You just start barging in giraffe ruler. Yeah, let's hang that on the wall. You can't hang items on a tent wall? What? But it's it's my it's my tent. Well, we don't have a bed, so we just have to sleep over here behind the lantern. Uh, yep. There we go. All right. I think we'll call it good for here, and then maybe next time we'll be able to get a haircut and buy some stuff. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. We'll see you all next time.